welcome back and now we want to populate our clits along the along the y-axis on each on, on top of these rafters here I'm selecting here now to populate this I have to select the clits here I select uh, press control and select everything uh, as, as a clit and select that press control and select that press control and select that and I'll press control and select that once I've done so I'll right click and I'll right click and hold my mouse and rotate move my mouse like that and what now I want to populate all this in that that in the in the in the wire direction so I right click and come to special copy and pick on linear so under linear I'll, I'll define the copy distance from that spot from the middle of that rafter to the middle of this rafter so if I mouse over this you'll see it is five meters or 5,000 millimeter and I'll click on that and I add the count all to, to five I need five of them if there's any extra we'll get rid of them so uh, the five I'm, I'm talking about because we have one already we have one two three four five I'll go ahead and click copy I'll give it some time to copy everything and I'll close that so if I zoom close after closing that you'll be able to see I have these in place I have the clits in place so I'll be able to turn that and you can see everything in place so what we've lost here somehow is the welding so that should not be a worry we know we know how we'll correct that so welding should not be a worry so we have the clits in place all the way to that end but you're lacking one one drafter has that those have cleats so we have to add more cleats here so let me select that and select on this cleat this this select that and select this cleat here so uh, we, we, we didn't add the cleat here right click and come to special copy and click linear and just add one there close and that's okay now from here we want to start placing the, the pilings so I'll come to I'll come to steel then come to steel beam and I'll snap right at the center here right at the center there and move all the way to to the center of this to the center of that cleat so yeah, I'll double click on this on this member because it is not the the, the the profile we intend to use and I'll come to straight to the catalog here and I'll minimize that so once I've minimized that I'll, I'll, I'll check on the profile I want and I need a C, a C profile or a U profile. Let me minimize that. I need a U profile, and th this is where I belong. I'll select on that. I'll pick 125 and I'll click select. Once I've done so, I'm going to click apply to accept that, or I can just use this, apply, apply it as a default, so that when I create another member, I will not be going back and forth to repeat the same thing. Now I'm going to press Control Q to rotate this to a uh, location of my choice and take press control w and press control e and take it down like that so this is way it, this is how it is i'll right click and come to special copy here and pick on linear so i want to define center the copy distance from that spot and to this spot here to that spot there so how many do i need i need six and or i need five of them so if I click copy along the y-axis and give it an OK like that and close and check whether we are in the right track and there we are. I can add this, but uh, I can add this the, the, uh, this for end and uh, because this will be a, a little bit uh, higher, longer than this because this is five from here to here is four meters. I can just copy that so that you uh, you have you, you get the idea. You get the reason why I'm doing and I'm, I'm not adding it so you can see that extends beyond uh, our trimming or, or extend beyond our facade uh, the, the structure the structure that will be uh, holding the the facade the roof of the facade so I'll just leave it as it is now and come this far end here and add another one I'll come to special copy here and uh, prefix the, the, this dimension by one meter and I'll add the dimension by negative sign 
and I'll give it OK right there. So we have another one on this far end. So we are going to copy this, press Control, and uh, copy everything. And prior to that, we need to bolt them because we, we need a bolt here. And to, to pop to bolt this is very easy. We have, we, we have first of all to create the points. And to create the points, we need to, to first of all get some guidance using points. I'll come to point and snap right on top there. So once I've uh, snapped on top there, I'm going to select that point, right, uh, right click and come to special copy here and P and uh, uh, come to I come to Y axis and I'm going to feed in here like uh, a 30. Let me see, 30 will be okay. 30. And uh, I'm going to copy again by 60. Let me just type there a negative 60. So if I click 60, I'll have the points in place. So I'm going to select this point once again. The two points, then right click and come to special copy or special move or let me just special move there and pick on linear so i want to move it downward downward along the z-axis here by probably 60 by probably 30 or 50 let me just try 50 negative 50 40 will be okay 40 negative 40 right there and move down slightly and um, it's far 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 beyond target and uh, let me just undo that and do that and uh, select on it and you just use 30 because that line is too big I'll come to special copy and come here and prefix this dimension by negative sign and feed in 30 then from 30 I'm going to add 40 copy it down by 40 move down by 40 or 50 like that okay, click on 50 and there we are you are there and these are the bolts so if i come here and select these bolts here and, and select the, the, the bolts here and be, i'll be able to create the bolts here and populate it populate them towards that direction so let's do that on the next presentation, and I hope you are getting every step in very clear. So bye-bye, and let's begin.